time is Cheaters Hotel, only on Power 1043. Well, Alicia, tell us a little bit about what's going on with you and your boyfriend. You guys have been together for how long? About a year? Yeah, a little over a year. A couple months ago, or I guess like three months ago now, we moved in together. It was great for a while, but I'm starting to realize something. Now that we share bills and stuff, I'm noticing his paycheck. Okay. Like every week for the past month or so, he was saying that someone asked him to cover a shift, which was fine with me because that means over time, you know, more money for the bills and stuff. But I've realized that every week, no matter if he does cover a shift, his paycheck is the exact same as it was when he was not covering the shift. So no overtime. You're not seeing the extra pay. No overtime. Exactly. And so I brought it up and he said that he was paid in cash, that, you know, whoever he covers for just hooks him up in cash. That's a lie. (laughs) That's a bad lie, but okay. Yeah, I just don't believe him anymore. And like, I just, you know, I've got like this just gross feeling in the pit of my stomach. And I feel like if he's using the extra shit to cheat on me, like I need to know it and I need done. And I'm like, you know, I'm not interested in splitting bills with a man who can't even respect me. So I just want to know, like, I think I know, you know what I mean? But I want like closure. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But yeah, I just, if we could like somehow like catch in this uh, so that I have the confirmation that would be great. Okay. Okay, Let's do sounds that. good. Uh, we'll give him a call and we'll put him to the Cheaters Hotel test. Yes. Catching cheaters one at a time is Cheaters Hotel. Only on Power 104.3. We've been talking with Alicia. Uh, this is tough. She's been with him for a little over a year. And so she's been looking at his paychecks. And so it seems like he's been lying. He's been saying that he's mm-hmm. working extra shifts and things like that. But his check hasn't changed. Uh, it, it seems like he's lying about what he's doing with his extra shifts. He even said that he was getting paid in cash when she confronted him, which is obviously a lie. They don't Bad do that lie. Companies. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to call him up, put him to the Cheaters Hotel test. Let's do it. Hello? Aloha, is this Connor? Yeah, you got Connor. Aloha, Connor. My name is Sharon. I work with a travel agency here in town called Aloha Vegas Getaways. I'm just giving you a really quick call to let you know that your name has actually been selected as one of our weekly weekend getaways to Las Vegas, all because your good friend took a trip with us and he signed you up for this flyaway so congratulations it's your lucky day your name was drawn you're this week's big winner which means you get a free trip to las vegas oh whoa, whoa. I, um, I didn't even know like i said i didn't know you caught me up for anything like this Great. He did. Now, let me tell you what we're setting you up with, okay? So, first, we're setting you up with uh, two round-trip tickets to Las Vegas from Honolulu, a two-night stay in one of the MGM Grand's 1,300-square-foot parlor suites, custom-made bathrobes for you and a guest, plus food and gambling credits. Now, best part about all this, Connor, no strings are attached. I don't need a credit card or deposit or anything like that. All I need to move forward is just the first and last name of the guest you would like to bring with you. I'll sign you up, and you can take this vacation when Whenever you want. Uh, Connor, do you have an idea of the person you'd like to bring with you to Las Vegas? Wow, this is great, man. Um, yeah, I, I do. I, I'll tell you what, I want to I wanna sign up uh, myself and, and Jasmine. Okay, now as out of touch, I'm going to help you leave a personalized card on the bed uh, for Jasmine to read once you guys get to the hotel. I just need a quick little message you would like to leave for her and we'll be all set to go. Okay, uh, let me think about that. Um, okay, here we go. You are my now and forever. I will love you till my last breath. That is so sweet. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, listen, Connor, this is Dex. You're actually not getting a trip to Vegas. You're actually on our radio program. Dex and Candace K on Power 104.3. We do something called Cheaters Hotel, where we catch oh. cheaters like you. What? What the hell? I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were cheating. Your girlfriend there. Yeah, she's been listening this whole time. I mean, what I can't doing? believe it, but I just can't believe it. What, I'm exposing your ass. That's what I'm doing. Why? What, what's wrong? What, what the f*** is this? And what, what, what have I done wrong? Jeez, I want stutter. you to know how it feels to be embarrassed. <sighs> how have I embarrassed you? Okay, well, for starters, you're cheating on me with some girl named Jasmine, and you've been lying to me saying you were covering shifts and I guess Jasmine is where you were going when you say you were covering shifts. Whoa, 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 you're acting crazy right now. I, I go to work. I mean, are you serious? I'm actually going to work when I have to cover okay, shifts. Okay, so yeah, you go to work, but you've been working all these extra hours and you sure have a crappy paycheck like before, so. I don't have crappy paychecks, babe. I mean, I pay just as much as you do. I found a pay stub in your pants pocket and there was zero overtime, even though you said you were picking up an extra shift every week yeah, or more. Not, so, like, that means that's extra. The table. That, means extra cash, money. You know, just... that means extra money. When you pick up a shift, you have extra money. You have no extra money, so where the hell no, have no, you no, been no, going? Hey, 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 just stop, stop. I'm not, 
I'm not doing this here. I'm not going to do this here, Alicia. You're already doing this here, okay? You know, I don't care where we do it. I'm breaking up with you because you don't deserve me, okay? Oh, yeah. So go be with Jasmine, okay? Stupid with your no money. Go be with Jasmine. I don't need your money. I can pay my own bills. Oh, fine. You, you don't deserve me. Oh, really? <laughs> what has Alicia done to you, Connor? Please elaborate. Well, we would love to hear it. She doesn't trust me. She doesn't trust me to you know she's stupid through things I'm in. Why should I trust you? You're f someone named Jasmine. Hello. Right. You're now and forever. Yeah, yeah. Fine, fine. I'm I'm done with this. Listen, you can come get your crap out of my house and take it to Jasmine's house and you guys can breathe all over it together forever. Do you think your partner was cheating?